Speaking of your other marquee fighter, Manny Pacquiao did an interview, I want to say a few weeks ago, where he said that he wants a Lomachenko fight. It caught a lot of people off guard. I'm just curious your thoughts on that and if you think it could actually really happen. Until he calls me and tells me that's what's going to happen, I don't believe it. I, 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 you know, that might, I don't know where that came from. You know, I, I don't see Manny Pacquiao on TV being interviewed by anybody. He, this country right now is under, uh, under uh, it's a bad situation right now in the South with the rebels and the uh, ISIS. And uh, Manny's working hard as a senator from what I hear and doing a good job at it and so forth. But boxing is in the back back door right now. He's not boxing. He doesn't train until I get there. And... Um, Oh, yeah. Would I like that fight? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it's a great fight. But um, you know, what are his chances? How, how do you see style wise? Aaron would like Crawford more, I think. But they're uh, talking Crawford and Spence at the current. Yeah, and in the winners meet, of course. <laughs> so, but uh, but that particular fight, Lomachenko has looked so good in his last few fights, and going up against a guy like Manny, probably the most experienced he guy. In his last fight, the fight before that, give me a break, all that bullshit, all that playing. <laughs> if he plays with Manny back out, Manny will walk right through him. Yeah. So when you see that fight, you think Manny at this point still has more than enough to hang with a guy like Lomachenko? Lomachenko, like, you know, he has good footwork, but you get a tough, like, a tough guy that, that doesn't care about the footwork and walk right through him, and um, I think he's beatable. I think certain people have good styles to beat him. I don't think he's the number. That's why I won't call him Pound for Pound the best fighter in the world. Because I think the, uh, Crawford is a much more complete fighter. So speaking of, uh, of Crawford, they want to build up a fight with him and Keith Thurman, him and Errol Spence. To you, does he beat both those guys or a size a big difference in that matchup where it plays such a factor that it won't matter how skilled he is because these guys are so much bigger than him? Yeah, it's just, um, it's so, to predict the future, I, you know, the, um, they, they, they look like good, pay, good fights on paper. I, I would probably like to see every one of those fights, and I just hope they happen because, like, you know, you have different promoters. That, I mean, you want, I want uh, the best fight out there is Errol Spence should fight um, from Nebraska. Um, Crawford. Crawford. Yeah. I mean, that would be a great fight, but can you get that together? I hope. I don't know. It's competing promoters and all that. You mean, Bob? Difficult. I think Spence would have to go to ESPN, I think, because I, I don't think he would go to Showtime. I'm not too uh, sure about that. That's the problem with boxing. That's the problem with boxing. Yeah, because, I mean, we need these fights to happen because this is we're fans and the thing is we want to see the best fights out there. This and, stuff didn't happen when you were fighting, huh? No. You know, so what went wrong, do you think, in your opinion? Uh, you know, even though Bob Arum and um, the um, Don, King. Don King didn't get along, they still did business. You know, the thing is, they were man enough to do business. There's so much jealousy and hatred right now between the promoters and so forth. They won't even do business together, but they kill them their own sport. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean... UFC will take us over someday because of that reason. Because we don't have the best fight in the best. If they don't want that to happen, they got to put these guys together. I mean, and then nobody will ever touch boxing. I mean, so I would love to see these fights happen. I mean, they, they finally did the uh, the uh, the 22 uh, the the uh, Olympian from. Uh, Breaking down Lomachenko. Yeah. That one? Yeah. yeah that fight. I'm All sorry. Right. That well, fight sucked. No, it no, was no. terrible. But when they were both one, when, when they were both one twenty-two pounders in that first, the, the first when they talked about that fight, that would have been a great fight. But because the size and all that. But now you get a big guy fighting a small guy, you know, and, and one guy quitting, and he'll never be on TV again. I, mean, I don't know if he'll ever fight again. I don't know if fans will ever want to see him fight again. To be honest. Very true. Yeah. I mean, speaking of, lastly on, on Manny. Um, why don't you call him and see what's going on? Do you think uh, he'll return any time you know, this year? He's busy being a senator. I'm busy being a trainer. I hear he's being groomed to be president. That's what I read a thing where like the president wants him to be president. Yeah, but that's three years away. Yeah, yeah it's a long way. <laughs> the next election, yeah, that's a six, the term there is six six years. And so the next election is in about three years. Um, so is does he want me president? I don't know. Um, 
If I ask him that question, he just smiles at me and doesn't give me an answer. I think that means yes, Freddie. I do too. <laughs> I do too. I think, but I, honestly, I want. I, I think he wants to be the first president to defend his title. That'd be that'd be a crazy thing, but it would have to. It couldn't be someone like Crawford, no, uh, yeah, no. or, or Lomachenko, that because he'd have to train full time as a fighter. Then being president of a country is a lot of work, a lot of stress. Well, the thing is, that's what I told him about being a senator. It's a lot of work. Is you you don't have room in your life for for two jobs you don't I mean yeah, I think you have to pick one or the other so um, I wish it was boxing because that's what he does best all right Freddie thank you so much you're gonna be in the corner this weekend yep. with Mercito Hesta this man right here believes his man will get the victory over Jorge Linares it happens this weekend on HBO thank you